Hey, what's up everybody? So today I am going to be doing a uh, dart frog cage. All right, so I got the whole empty cage right now. Now I'm gonna use some Hydrogrow. This is all from the bio dude that I have. Uh, so it's good quality materials and it's known to work. So I'm just gonna take it, open it, and then dump it in here. This is gonna act as my drainage layer. But I'm doing it even, or at least as close as possible. All right, so the next step is going to be putting in some type of barrier. So I have this uh, screen mesh. It's not quite long enough. Um, it didn't order the right size, but it should do the trick for the most of it. Looks like I'm just missing about. Uh, but the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of refi bark. Uh, this stuff is good. It helps the aeration. So we're gonna throw some of that in there. We're gonna create a nice chunky mix to add in into this guy right here. So the next bit, I have some terraflora, which is good stuff from the bio dude. We're gonna add this mixture in there. All right. So we're gonna need quite a bit of this. I only got one bag, being stupid. So um, I have a little bit of extra stuff that I put together. All right, now the terraflora is in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of sphagnum moss to this mixture. Just kind of keep some moisture. little bit more dirt I'm gonna add to this mixture. This is gonna be a mixture of uh, terraflora, um, some bark, some leaves, and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna mix this up and uh, we'll see if I can make another batch to go in here. So this ain't as chunky as I would like it to be, so I'm gonna add in a little bit more bark. Use the rest of the bag. Throw that off to the side. And then I have a few extra things I'm gonna add. I have these awesome charcoal packets that I got. Uh, you can just get these in the fish aisle. So I'm just going to take this and dump it all in there. We're going to do about three of these bags. So I'm going to add in a little bit of this uh, creature floor right here. We're just going for the most chunky type of uh, soil that we can get. I'm not going to throw this whole thing in there, but... Throw about half of it in there. We're gonna mix this up. So we're gonna take this mixture and 
man poured in here. Well, I'm happy with the consistency that we have, uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and make another batch of this and then add some water to it. All right, so I have all of the dirt in there, all the mixture that I need. Um, so now I'm gonna see if I can put some of this bio shot in there. So this is plenty just for this little tank right here. So I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna sprinkle it in. And then I'm just going to take it and move it around the soil. I'm going to make sure that all the plants actually have a chance to survive. Alright, so next what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some different elements to try to skate my tank here. I have a few different things. We're gonna figure it out. All right, so that's just a little rough scape. I have no clue what I'm doing here. I am not a master at this. I'm not claiming to be. But I got a few plants, and I'm gonna take the plants. I'm gonna put them in and try to find out where they're going to best be suited. So now with everything in place, I'm going to go ahead and spray down everything, probably a little bit of over water here, only because these plants are new. I'm trying to get all the, the bio shot, the nutrients put in place and uh, see if they can start soaking it up and benefiting it from, from right off the bat. So to try and get the bioactive part started, I'm just going to go ahead and place some, uh, some leaves in here. So it's always good to have leaf litter for a few different reasons. For one, uh, isopods and springtails love leaves. Just go ahead and spread them around a little bit. Blend that for me, that's good. And now I'm going to be adding in a cup of springtails and some isopods. I have a cup here of 50 dairy pot or dairy cow isopods. So we're gonna release these guys into here and hopefully they'll make a nice colony just to clean up some of the mess. I just sprinkle them across this one area and they'll do the rest. Some are already exploring. So then I have also this cup of zebra isopods I'm gonna place on the other side here. I'm not trying to mate them or anything, but I just want them to do their job clean up, make everything nice and pretty. And last but not least, I have some just regular isopods I'm gonna place in here. I think there's a few. These actually look like dairy cows too, but we're gonna go ahead and place them in. Maybe at the top here. So last but not least, I'm going to add in some springtails. It's a lot of charcoal, so I'm going to go ahead and place it in. Oh, it looks like a good culture.
So, I got all the charcoal in there. So hopefully there's lots of uh, springtails. I'm just gonna give it a little stir. So this is not perfect by any means, but this took me about an hour to mix all the dirt, get everything put in here, plant everything, film it, um, and to tell you the truth, it looks amazing. It looks like all these dairy cows right here, just, they're living their life, exploring, they're everywhere. So I have about 70, 80, about 80 different, not different, but 80 isopods in here and they're, hopefully they'll all breed and live a wonderful life. There's tons of springtails in here, I put in a great culture. Um, hopefully you guys like this video. It's not a water feature, but I mean, it's sure one hell of a tank. Um, and right up here, I have a uh, Zoomed Repti Sun. Just a little small one, but it's just enough to provide some light for these guys. I have a halogen light that's going to provide a little bit of warmth for it. And then up here, I have this awesome fogger comes down here it's gonna fog this whole area up make it all nice and it's gonna go perfect with this one down here it's a little bit older of the tank but it's nice to set up so I have these two and by far I absolutely love this thing hopefully it will live a nice happy life uh, for my dart frogs it's just beautiful Hope you guys enjoyed and have a good one.